Hi Pisces and welcome to your February 2021 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk to you about the um, incredible energies coming in for you in the month of February. So some of you are uh, having a birthday at the end of this month. Happy birthday to those of you aging up. I hope that uh, getting towards a Pisces season is feeling really um, nice for you. I really honestly have nothing but good things to say about your energy. As I've been meditating and going about my day uh, before I do your reading, um, I feel the best I've felt in a long time. Um, so I really do think that you are uh, coming into a level of imminence with your energy. I think that there is something imminent about you. I think there is something undeniable, inevitable, and crucial in the experiences you're having this month. So uh, what does that mean? Um, I think that you're going to have new contacts this month. I think it's a great time for single Pisces to date. I think it's a great time for... Um, lonely or single Pisces to have new friends or new associates or new people coming into their lives and having a new level of comfort that you get to. I love Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles coming up in your reading, double Ace. It's always really nice. New emotional energy, new material rewards. Um, there's sort of an idea of sorting through things this month too. Six and Seven of Pentacles ace of pentacles mm -hmm. a lot of you are totally changing the way that you um fund your life uh, monetarily energetically it looks like some of you might be like hiring if you're a business owner it looks like some of you might be really making your life a lot easier okay understanding like wow i've been working so hard i've been making myself do so much that i just have no energy so now maybe you hire um uh, someone to clean your house or you start to clean in a much more effective way yourself you're purifying this month the tower reversed is coming up the hanged man reversed there are a few lingering sediments energetically i want to say in your life that you are working through this week and that's going to require a few changes so like everyone else this is a very change oriented month for you this is very much about um just letting it go okay this or that thing just is not going to work. It's just not suiting me or serving me anymore. And I have to move on from that. I have to understand that that relationship is over, that that connecting point or that, you know, area of pursuit is just not for me anymore. And I have to now look at what I am uh, willing to have in my life personally. Okay, what are you willing to have, Pisces? What is your will right now? What do you will to happen? What what are you trying to push through right now? Um, there is a key that you have. The Hierophant is coming up. It has keys in it. Um, so you are holding the key to something, and I want you to really start to go through that door now, unless you don't want that, okay? Um, what I also think is that you have to watch out for... Um, glazing things over okay i think this is actually okay this month so the moon the ace of cups it's like you're really um seeing things through rose-colored glasses perhaps and that is a coping mechanism um and i don't think it's so bad this month but you want to really start actually getting substance and positive substance so you're looking at things and you're you know you're selling it to yourself you're like okay this house is run down but like i'm going to see this positively i'm going to see this as an opportunity i'm going to see this as a blessing that i have it and you know i'm not homeless i have a home it's run down but it's you know things like that um so now is the time pisces where you actually do start to fix that and you start to detox this out of your life so that you don't even have to do rose colored glasses anymore Although perception is a part of everything, you know, even people who have like the best houses or the best, the best of the best in life, they can sometimes look at that and be like, this is not enough. This is not, this is run down. This is a problem. Um, so that's worth looking at too, if there's also um, the reverse of rose colored glasses. So I guess um, uh, <laughs> um, cactus colored glasses, I don't know, where you might also be looking at things in a negative way when you don't have to really try to start getting honest with yourself now and accept the positive benevolence that is definitely coming in. Um, just kind of swim through, okay? You know, just slowly swimming through. Just keep the time moving. Get into your season, and I think you're going to have a very beautiful rejuvenation. So let's talk about the week-to-week -week Pisces. In the first week of February, you've got the Six of Pentacles rooted down by Ace of Pentacles. So I think that you're just kind of accepting that you have to do this or that, or that you have to... Um, do this amount of work to make things happen and you can actually really start to make things easier on yourself okay you can really start to 
be smart. Okay, there's an intelligence, there's a smartness that you have like an incredible employer, it looks like a Pisces could be right now, which is funny to see for you. I guess it's after all that Capricorn transits of 2020, making that sex style to your Pisces uh, placements, you know, it kind of gave you this like boss energy. <laughs> I'm feeling boss energy for Pisces in the first week of um, February. I'm gonna have to write that down. That might be what I title your video, boss energy. Okay, um, boss energy, Pisces. One way or another, whether or not you're like um, hiring, you know, uh, this has to be used well in your life, you know, like with your executive decision making about, I don't know, your studies or your work or your living, um, all of this, you're, you're like a boss here and there's no excuse for letting things just fall out of your hands or letting things um, disappear. I also see like lottery wins or some type of lucky income for you too. Um, inheritances, lottery wins, promotions, bonuses, that's very possible, okay? Because you're really raising your vibration up. The tower is reversed. The hanged man is reversed. You are walking out of these like very heavy, deep existential crises, and that's going to have rewards for you. So try to trust that. Even if you're not seeing anything in the first week of February yet, try to just trust, you know, get into the sun, uh, gaze out of the window, see the beauty of your environment, regardless of your environment. Those rose-colored glasses are okay in the beginning, you know, just to get your energy up and out of the doldrums. Um, but yeah, just try to really project positivity for yourself. Like, okay, I know I know that something's coming. It might not be here yet, or it might be for some of you with Ace of Pentacles there. You might just really get given something in the first week um, or the third week or the fourth week, okay? Uh, week number two, you have the tower reversed to down by the Hierophant. So spiritual evolution. Uh, an old trauma is no longer a trauma anymore. So that's important for you. Second week of Feb, you want to um, look at these old traumas, these old breakups, these old catastrophes, these old difficulties, and be like, okay, that's no longer a relevant playing piece in my life. Like that, that is not pe playing a part anymore. Okay, so I don't need to really be considering it and giving it the power that it no longer has over me. And a lot of you just rise above in the second week. A lot of you just like, you know, overcome and feel that strength and just um, have it. You know, you just have it. You have the key to the next reality, you know. Um, you have people in front of you. You have a certain authority maybe also over certain things. So not to make that an ego trip, because there is an ego dissolving as well in the second week. The tower reversed is about the dissolving of ego, and also old catastrophes, old traumas, things that are not new. It's not like a new trauma, but it's like these old things that are still kind of uh, affecting us in unknown ways. You're called in the second week to really move past that, okay? Week number three, you have the moon rooted down by the Ace of Cups. Beautiful, 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 very watery, going into your season with the moon rooted down by Ace of Cups. New love, new emotional energy, new motivations, new appreciation for life. So what does life mean to you, Pisces? What does living mean to you? What does gazing or looking or experiencing, taking in via your senses, what does it mean to you? There's more meaning than you think in that. And I think that rather than thinking so much about money or goals or pursuits or um, traumas, anything like that, you've got to really think about what it means for you to live and what your life is signifying for you, okay? Because the only problem area for Pisces right now is to just um, lose their own significance with themselves, okay? So you just are robotically moving through every day going to that job, which is fine. That's fine, but you need to be living through it and you need to see what um, what it's meaning for you. Um, you need even just 30 minutes a day, at the least, um, of just lying down and feeling the significance of living, Okay. So this to me also looks like time with God or um, very, uh, very, very spiritual, okay? You are having a spiritual experience in the month of February with the Hierophant, Ace of Cups and the Moon, and Ace of Pentacles, that double Ace and Hierophant energy side by side. So to me, this does look like leveling up in your religion, perhaps, uh, becoming closer to God or source energy or the universe or whatever um, religious figures are a part of your life. Um, 
and sometimes when we contextualize things through religion, we get defensive, I think, in the spiritual community because, you know, religions have played a lot of negative roles in people's lives through, you know, organizational capacity. Um, so that's not what I'm referring to. I'm not some, and for some people it could be, like it, it is that for some people, like for some people, actually, I think for some Pisces, this month is about an embrace of organized religion, perhaps. But for others, it's not about that. It's just about your own personal relationship with your life force energy, okay? And that needs to be created and that needs to be solidified to some degree for you. Not even so much solidified, more like um, internalized, all right, and real because it really motivates you, okay? Fourth week, and also in the third week, you can meet somebody. So single Pisces, you can meet like, a soulmate there. January and July of 2021 are both like soulmate months really strongly. We actually haven't had that same type of soulmate energy since about 2015. So we're having like in a five-year cycle of soulmates. So, so don't, you know, get crazy about it. You know, try to not, it, it really is more likely in July, but it's possible in January too. Week four, you've got the hanged man reversed, rooted down by seven of pentacles. That's very, um, <laughs> what do I want to say? Reflective. That's very philosophical, okay? There's something non-action oriented for you in the fourth week. Both of those cards represent stillness and looking over things and mulling over things. So you've got maybe a lot of mulling to do in the fourth week, a lot of consideration and strategizing maybe. I think Pisces perhaps have more than they've ever had when it comes to wealth or even energy, time. And now you've got to sort through it. Like, what are all these things that I've come through with and what are they, what umbrella are they under? You know, this could be really formalizing a business for some Pisces, or this could be like seeing like emotional experiences or even traumas and bringing them together and deciding, okay, keep or not keep, you know? There is a... And you want to really concentrate this to the fourth week. I don't think that this needs to go much before or after because I don't like it when those types of phases where it's so still, it's so mental, it's so ungrounded in a way. Um, I don't like it when those stretch out too long because then it can start to really reverse on itself and envelop into this type of like um, worrisome, troublesome loop where you're not embodied and you're not grounded and you're thinking about all of these different choices and all of these different hypotheticals and it's not real, okay? So you've got to be aware of that. That's that's something that, that, that would be another negative that I could see of some of these energies is that you've got so many hypotheticals and so many mental mind, um, you know, energizing that you want to get more physical. So after the fourth week, so moving into March, and we'll talk about this next month for you all, um, you want to really get physical and get embodied with it, all right? But overall, what a just um, beautiful month for you, Pisces. I think that you're going to have one of the best times ever <laughs> this month, and I think you're going to get a lot of things together, and I think that you're going to get a lot of uh, clarity on how you want to move forward and how you want to sort things through and how you want to uh, live okay how does pisces want to live what do you want to live mm -hmm. as where do you want to live what um you know uh things that you want to uh bring in you know so thank you so much for being here pisces i hope you enjoyed this general reading i'm going to put together an extended reading for you on patreon if you haven't signed up for the patreon page yet I do hope that you will. I think it's such a great service. It's very affordable. You Even the lowest tier is $5, and you get, like, a lot with that. Like, you get pretty much everything. Um, and you can always, you know, have more if you want. Um, there is, you can pledge whatever you like, but um, it's a very, very affordable way to um, keep this YouTube channel possible and to get a lot of bonus ad-free content. So um, I'll link that in the center of the screen and below. Uh, do sign up if you get the chance, and we will look at a central theme and two supporting themes and uh, get some new ideas for your month ahead. Much love, Pisces. I'll talk to you later. Bye.